Hi, I'm Dr. John Fluke. I'm technology editor for Dental Products Report magazine. And I'd like to spend a couple of minutes talking to you about a new curing device from Kerr called the Demi Ultra. This is a really nice light. It just hit the market. Um, we're filming this in June of 2013 and I've had a chance to actually have it in my hands and use it clinically for about the last three weeks and I've really been enjoying my time with it. The device takes the whole idea of cordless curing devices one step further than we've ever gone before because the Demi Ultra, which is why Ultra is in its name, is it utilizes an ultra capacitor. The tremendous advantage of the ultra capacitor is you can take a device like this one, which is completely dead. As you can see, I've got a red light on that indicating that there is no power at all. I can't turn it on and yet I can take this device put it into the charging cradle and the ultra capacitor as you'll see here in a few in a few seconds the ultra capacitor has the unique ability to come to a full full charge in 40 seconds or less now in addition to having the ultra capacitor be there for the charging aspect of it um, you also have a neat thing about this device which is they've moved the LEDs uh, the majority of curing lights on the market have their LEDs inside of the device and then there's a glass light guide that moves to the end and the light transfers out through that. You'll notice now, I'm going to swap them back, this one is now fully charged just that quick. I hit the button and there we go. At its full state of charge, which it is now, it's completely re-energized, this device will now go and provide 25 10 second cures. Now for those of you that think 25 10 second cures, is that enough to do everyday dentistry? I've been using this device for about the past three weeks and I can tell you that in my hands, 25 10 second cures has easily done 95% or more than 95% of the clinical restorative situations in my office. The other nice thing about the ultra capacitor is we're all familiar with rechargeable batteries and the problems that happen with those over time, which is the batteries lose the ability to hold a charge. That doesn't happen with the ultra capacitor. The ultra capacitor has a lifespan of 10 years. So the idea of course is in 10 years, some new device will have come along that will have you know, made your curing that much easier, but you're not worried about replacing a battery or the fact that you've got to do something with this device because the charging system of that re-energizing process with the ultra capacitor does away with that. Uh, the LEDs are in the tip, they're not in the device. That serves a couple of really important pieces of the puzzle. And that is, number one, it takes less energy to have the LEDs at the tip. When they're in the body, there's a glass light guide and you have to provide a real strong boost to the LEDs to get the light energy to move from the, you know, the center of the device down the light guide and out the tip. And that puts more of a strain on the battery, increases power consumption. The other thing is that having the LEDs right at the tip and not having to use all that power also means less heat. Less heat developed on the LEDs and because the LEDs are going to be you know, right next to the tooth, that then means less heat transfer from the LEDs to the tooth, and that then means less chances of any kind of pulpal inflammation, whether reversible or irreversible, because of heat that's gone into the tooth. The device is also uh, a sealed device. It only has one part that you can take off of it, which is the light, and the buttons are sealed, um, the, the sides are sealed, there's no grooves to allow heat to escape. With the recessed charging port also, you don't have to worry about any kind of problems with the disinfectant solution getting on the contacts and then creating problems that affect your, your charging cycles or your charging life. Um, the charging station itself has a built-in radiometer that allows you to check and make sure that you have adequate output of the device and i really think that if you're in the market right now for a new led curing light or you think you're going to be in the future you definitely owe it to yourself to add this to the short list of devices you want to take a look at and potentially bring into your practice as i said i've had a really good experience with it and i think this is something you really ought to consider to make your life easier and the lives of your patient easier too I'm Dr. John Flukey, thanks for watching.